Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to present you Omero, which is a client server software for visualization, management, and analysis of biological images. Okay, so this is the data I'm gonna use in uh, this example. So uh, we've got uh, three folders called 2020, 2021, and 2022, because uh, the photos in each repository uh, was taken in 2020, 2021, and 2022. So in each folder, uh, you can see some beetroot pictures uh, with uh, a specific disease on the, on the leaves, as you can see uh, in these pictures. So uh, this is the case for the, the three folders. And we've got uh, around uh, 300, uh, 300 pictures. Uh, there are also some CSV files, so uh, uh, one for each year. And uh, in the 2020.csv, uh, uh, you can see uh, in example a uh, first line, which is a uh, header, I explain later. And then uh, the second line, the name of uh, each column, so the image name, the disease, and then the lighting. And uh, for each picture, you can uh, you can see if uh, you have small or big disease and uh, high, medium, or low. Uh, low uh, lighting. So in this example, uh, with 14.png, uh, we've got big disease and uh, high lighting, and we can check that. So in the in the folder 2020, uh, we found the, the 14.png uh, with big disease, yes, it's it's big for, for a bit root, and, uh, and uh, a high lighting level. Okay, so this is how Omero looks like. Uh, so it's Omero Insight, which is uh, the uh, the application you can install to use Omero. So on the left, uh, you can find some projects dataset on images. So images are in datasets and datasets are in projects. So uh, in this uh, quick example uh, I made, uh, we've got one project with three datasets corresponding to each year, and in each dataset, uh, there are three images uh, with uh, with beetroot disease uh, I shown uh, as shown uh, uh, before. So when you click on uh, one image, you can see some information about uh, about this image, such as uh, the name, the ID, and also uh, several metadata, and especially uh, key value pairs, uh, which will very used uh, in this example uh, because uh, it's written uh, the, the year, the disease, and the lighting as shown in the CSV file. Okay, we can also add some comments, attachments, tags, but we won't show that uh, in this video. You can also click here to see how the image was imported. Uh, because there are several ways to import images, and uh, and the the default one will copy past uh, each images, and this is not very um, very interesting for uh, big datasets. So as you can see here, it was imported uh, with which is called uh, in place import with uh, the ln underscore s, and uh, this corresponds to to a link. So it's not a copy past, uh, but, uh, a simple copy past. You can also get some other metadata corresponding to uh, to microscopic uh, characteristics because uh, because Omero was was made for um, microscopic images. Uh, you have also um, a viewer. You can uh, you can see by double clicking on the image, and uh, and you can make some uh, some uh, uh, simple image processing, but we won't use that uh, to in this example. You have here how to manually create dataset and projects, and uh, although uh, this icon will be very useful because it's to uh, to reload all the data. Uh, if you've made some uh, some modification, you can uh, you have to to reload the data to see what uh, what you did. And uh, finally, this is uh, the importer, uh, which will be very useful to manually import some images. So you can uh, import a, a whole folder or a image by image, and then. Um, Choose uh, in what pro in uh, which project and which dataset you, you want to import your, your image. Uh, by default, uh, if you choose a project and not uh, dataset, it will be um, as you can see here. It, it will be in another dataset, and you can delete it uh, with uh, with this icon, and uh, you'll have a, a log windows uh, you can you can clear. So for now, I've shown you an example with only uh, nine images, but the purpose of this video is to, is to show you how to automatize that in order to uh, to import a whole dataset and uh, process some queries on these datasets. 
uh, according to key value pairs, uh, such as uh, the disease, big, small, or the lighting, uh, low, high, medium, and uh, also how to process some images uh, with a, a simple example of, uh, of a thresholding, and to do that on a query. The first example I show you is uh, how to create datasets and projects uh, using, uh, using Python. So uh, in this code, you can uh, you can find on the on the GitHub in the description of this video. There are several several posts. Uh, one uh, dedicated to to the connection, uh, and also uh, the presentation of how to create some objects because uh, Homero is a oriented object. Uh, it's in the, it's in the name. Uh, Omero is from um, Open Microscopy Environment, which is the name of the company who developed Omero. And uh, the R and the O are for remote objects. So uh, we've got a lot of different objects, and uh, and uh, the most common are uh, dataset projects and images, of course. So uh, you can create a project object and also a dataset object with a Omero model dataset I. And then create another object, which is a link, a link between the dataset and the project to, to say, okay, this dataset is a part of this project. So uh, this is how, uh, how to do, and when, I'm, when I run uh, this, uh, this code, I can, uh, I can create, uh, can create datasets and projects, one project uh, for, for the demo, and three datasets, one for each year. So I can go back to uh, Mero Insight and then uh, reload, uh, reload the file and, uh, and uh, see the set and the project, but they are empty. I can find an ID uh, which is specific for this, uh, this object, but be careful because an ID corresponds to, to um, a specific object. So uh, this, ID, uh, this ID can also correspond to an ID of another project or another image uh, I don't know. Okay, so we've created uh, datasets on the project, but uh, we'll have to import images, and we've in-place import, which is very important to, to don't copy past, but just create a link uh, to, to to the image. So uh, this is uh, the second uh, the the second uh, code, which is called uh, image import with dot pi, and uh, we've got uh, a function called uh, import an image, which will uh, use uh, the CLI, the, the command line interface, uh, which is an equivalent to, to the Python, but uh, by using um, using the shell, and uh, and indeed to import image, uh, we can also do that with the CLI and not with uh, with some uh, Python functions. So uh, so uh, I call that process to uh, to import uh, image, and uh, and then uh, I run that uh, on uh, all the images uh, in my folder. Uh, by connecting, uh, connecting, firstly uh, with the the boots guide away function, which is very important, and, uh, and then uh, I run the code, and uh, and uh, for each images it will uh, it will import. So it takes a bit long. So to import the the whole data set, uh, which uh, has uh, around three hundred images, uh, it took uh, thirty two minutes. So now we can check if uh, all the images are really imported. Uh, so we go back in Omero Insight, we reload, and then we can see the, the, the number of images in each dataset, and, uh, and we, can, uh, we can see them. So now we have uh, all our images, but they haven't metadata. So we'll have to import from uh, CSV files all the metadata uh, with uh, this, uh, this other, other code, uh, with a program an import section, a connection, and then uh, here uh, you can see uh, you can see uh, a function in order to, to import uh, key value pairs uh, by creating also the objects uh, which are map annotation, and then we get uh, we get uh, our object uh, and we'll link it. Then we we read all the CSV files, and uh, and then for for each line, which is for uh, each image. Uh, we uh, we isolate the image and disease and add uh, add key value as a, a list of lists. So now after reloading Omero uh, Insight uh, in uh, our datasets, we uh, we've got uh, images with uh, a little icon uh, showing that uh, there are metadata and uh, indeed when we click uh, we can see uh, the year, disease and the, the lighting. 
However, it's written only one of key value pairs because we added all the key value pairs at once with uh, one link. So uh, this is a kind of bug, I'd say, uh, because uh, because Mero Insights only detects uh, one key value pairs while uh, there are three of them. There is an alternating between uh, between colors. Uh, you see when we add uh, with the the light blue and the and the white, uh, but only one one key value pair is detected. Uh, we can also add uh, manually add and remove some um, some key value pairs, and uh, and uh, that's it. So a quick example of queries uh, in in two mirror insights with uh, my first example with only uh, nine images. Uh, you have uh, in the menu a search and then write uh, write key value pairs. Uh, also with uh, with uh, end in order to uh, to browse uh, to browse with uh, several key value pairs and you can find uh, you can find like that uh, all the images uh, with uh, with uh, what you you query but you can export the result you can you can do anything with the result so we will have to to go through uh, Python once again so here we have uh, another code. Uh, also with import connection and uh, and uh, a new function called uh, filter by key value pairs, uh, which will firstly detect uh, what you what you want to to, to query and then uh, use uh, uh, HQL for a uh, have I not query language, uh, which is uh, which is pretty similar to uh, to SQL. Then you can uh, you can write just uh, some some. Uh, some code uh, with uh, with uh, the the connection connection object which is can uh, and then you will have to write uh, this stuff list with your key and then your, your value so for example uh, this is big and uh, and lighting um, lighting medium and uh, just run the script and you'll have all will have the, the the whole list of uh, all the images uh, with uh, with big disease and medium lighting. You can also add, it's optional uh, in this function, but you can also add uh, a specification in order to, to search in only a specific object. But you will have to, to have um, uh, its ID. So in Omero Insight, uh, for example, to query only in the, in the set corresponding to, uh, to 2020, uh, I have to, to, to write the, the 49 ID. So uh, I write, uh, I want to search in a data set. On the, on the ID uh, 49 and uh, I run the script and I have, uh, I'll have my, my query. Okay, so you've seen uh, how to create projects and datasets, uh, how to import images, how to import metadata, and also how to process some query on, uh, on key value pairs. Uh, and you can combine all that in what's called Omero script, which allow you to, to, uh, to write some scripts uh, to import them in uh, Omero Insight and then process automatically all that. So this is the script of, uh, uh, of a script uh, I call Threshold 2 because I, uh, I already did a, a first version uh, of it uh, with uh, a lot of inputs just uh, just here. You'll see uh, you'll see uh, how it looks uh, in uh, Omero Insight just after that. So you can do any process you want, but uh, in my example, I'll uh, I do a simple threshold of uh, a query result. Uh, so this is uh, this line, and uh, and then uh, you have to copy past key value pairs if you want. Uh, you can also filter by key value uh, as you've seen just uh, just before, and uh, and then I process uh, all images. Well, let's see in uh, in Omero Insight. So you have to reload scripts uh, in order to to save a modification you can uh, you may have uh, done, and you have this window where you can uh, select uh, the uh, the object if you want to, to process uh, process images on a specific dataset or project or just one image. Uh, then okay, I will try your uh, our project uh, test. Uh, so I see its ID and uh, just uh, just write it. I can also uh, search for some key value pairs, uh, for example lighting medium. Uh, but you can add as uh, as much as you want other key value pairs. You can uh, add them and also uh, delete them. 
uh, for the threshold, you can uh, you can uh, write any value you want. So uh, we'll keep the, the default one. You can uh, decide the name of the, the threshold uh, images and uh, and uh, reuse uh, the original in image name with uh, with uh, that f. Uh, decide the format of the image and uh, also process uh, uh, the output in another dataset, either a dataset you've already created and just from this ID, or uh, a new dataset, and then you will have to, to, to write uh, a string corresponding to the, to the name of the new dataset. You can finally decide to copy past the key value pairs or not, and then you run the script. Uh, you'll have to wait until it processed all the images, and for example, with lighting medium, uh, I had 271 images and it took uh, 159 seconds. So after the process, uh, we can reload uh, our data and, uh, and see a new dataset uh, with all the images, all the thresholded images. So um, you can see that key value pairs are, uh, are kept. And uh, you can also uh, change the uh, the image viewer. Okay, so uh, this is all the images uh, thresholded according to the the query uh, we've done. Okay, so I show you how to, to process uh, images on a specific query uh, with Omero, but we can also uh, also do do so also with Omero, but with binding that uh, with other um, applications. To, uh, to to process image, uh, for example, Fiji or MageJ, you may uh, you may know. So uh, you can um, you can download the uh, the a plugin and then install it uh, into Fiji. So uh, after that, you will have uh, Omero uh, and you can uh, connect connect to Omero through Fiji's and then uh, get exactly the same uh, user interface uh, than Omero Insight, but Coded with uh, with Fiji, and you can open uh, open images by clicking on several, several parameters, and then open images uh, as a, as an as a, as a Fiji images. So uh, channels will be split on by default. So you will have to uh, to merge all channels uh, just like that. Yes, and then you you have your, your image imported in uh, in Fiji. So you can process also a threshold, for example, here, uh, just like uh, like I'm doing here, and uh, and it's another way to, to process your image. Uh, finally, you can uh, you can reupload your images uh, in Omero uh, by using uh, also an importer uh, very similar to the to Omero importer you can uh, you can find in uh, within Omero Insight. Okay, let me show you another example with uh, Napari, which is a very useful uh, and trendy uh, image viewer analysis uh, because uh, because it's coded in Python uh, while uh, Fiji is coded in uh, in Java and uh, Python is very more uh, friendly. So uh, you can install Napari uh, in this website and then you can uh, import some plugins uh, by just uh, just searching in the here, uh, the name, so you can uh, you can write uh, Napari Omero, uh, which will bind uh, Napari and Omero, and then you will have to restart Napari, and you can then browse uh, browse uh, browse your images uh, just like uh, like in uh, in uh, in Omero, and uh, it's also uh, also split in three channels, and you can then uh, process uh, several images as you want, uh, just like that, and uh, and do your threshold. Finally, with uh, different ways to can import image and metadata into Omero, and with iQuery process some uh, queries in order to uh, to image uh, analyze with Omero scripts, Fiji or Napari or other if you want.